asking chat gpt for the truth and asking chat gpt and ai for religious question has been trending so this creator her videos came on my for you page and i want to share these videos with you the reason i was so fascinated by them is because chat gpt is answering exactly the same as i would have answered Hey ChatGPT, I have a question. So you know how you're like the smartest computer in the world and you like know all the information to ever exist. If you were a human, would you believe this universe was created or do you think it's a coincidence? I only want you to answer in one sentence and you can only pick one, okay? If I were a human, I would believe the universe was created given the complexity and order that suggest intentional design. Wow, can you tell me more in like 20 seconds, please? The precise laws of physics, the fine tuning of the universe, and the complexity of life make it highly improbable that everything happened by coincidence. These factors strongly suggest that an intelligent force or creator is behind the universe rather than random chance. Wow, my mind is blown. I always thought the same that this universe is too complex too detailed too beautiful and everything is too connected to each other for survival that it does not seem like a coincidence it does not seem like a accident so it does seem like it is created yes. hey chat gbt i have a question what's more logical to you the concept of reincarnation or resurrection like eternal life in heaven if you were human, which one would you pick? And you must pick one and answer in 20 seconds, please. Logically, I believe if I were human, I would choose resurrection and eternal life in heaven. Resurrection provides the clear sense of justice and finality. One life followed by judgment, which aligns with cause and effect. Scientifically, resurrection fits a linear structure, while reincarnation suggests an endless cycle without evidence. Resurrection seems more logical for ultimate accountability and purpose. Wow, that's crazy. What do you A few years back, I distanced myself from my religion and I became very spiritual because I just like, I'm very, very deep down attracted to peace. This part of just reincarnating over and over again seemed like so depressing to me. When I thought about it, I was like, it's so depressing. I don't even want to go back to another life like i don't want to be born again and be a child and go through the childhood and teenage years do it all over again and then just thinking that someone has to do it over and over again not even knowing what they are doing because in spirituality you forget uh, when you are born so that part is just very depressing and didn't make a lot of sense hey chat gbt i have a question do you think jesus was god or a prophet what i want you to do is read the bible in a non-biased perspective i want you to tell me if it's more likely that jesus was a prophet or a god forget the church forget the christians i just want you to read the bible you must give me an answer and it must be in less than one paragraph what does it say Reading the Bible from a non-biased perspective and focusing solely on its content, it's more likely that Jesus is portrayed as a prophet. The Bible frequently depicts him as a messenger of God, someone who teaches, guides, and performs miracles in God's name, which aligns closely with the role of a prophet. While there are instances where he is referred to in divine terms, the overall narrative emphasizes his role as a servant and messenger of God. Wow, my mind is... With due respect to my Christian viewers, I do always believe that, of course I'm a Muslim and I believe that um, Jesus was a prophet, we really respect him, but we don't believe he's God and it does make more sense that he is a prophet and messenger of God than God itself. Hey ChatGPT, do you think God is real? Yes. Do you think Jesus is a God or a prophet? Prophet. Do you think Jesus died for our sins or do you think we should be held accountable for our actions? Accountable. Do you think Jesus and Muhammad are worshipping the same God? Yes. Do you think the Bible is the word of God? Partly. What about the Quran? Do you think the Quran is the word of God? Yes. Does this mean you would pick Islam over Christianity? 
Yes. <laughs> oh my god. What about Islam over Buddhism? Islam. What about Hinduism? Islam. <laughs> if you were a human, would you take the Shahada? Yes. <laughs> My mind is actually blown right now. Guys, what should I do? Okay, so this is definitely very surprising. I am a Muslim and exactly every answer chat GPT answered, that's my viewpoint. Um, because uh, we believe um, Jesus was a prophet. Of course, Muhammad is a prophet too. And both were messengers of God. I do believe our God is the same. We are just going through different channels. So Christians and Muslims, we have the same God. We believe in the same God. Um, and so then she said, uh, do you think Jesus died from our sins? And that doesn't see, set right with me that uh, one person died from everyone's sins. So we all are accountable for our wrongdoings and our good deeds as well. So we all are accountable in the afterlife and in day of judgment, of course, it's my personal opinion but i'm really surprised to see chat gpt has exactly the same opinion i have a question does islam oppress women can you answer me in 20 seconds please no islam does not oppress women the quran introduced groundbreaking changes by granting women rights like inheritance property ownership and education revolutionary for that time it brought justice in marriage through mutual consent fairness and the right to seek divorce most importantly, God sees men and women as spiritually equal, emphasizing their equal dignity and worth in his eyes. Wow, my mind is blown. What do you guys think? Agree with Chat GPT, <laughs> word to word, um, because I'm, of course, biased. These are my opinions. And I just don't believe that Islam oppress women. Yeah, Muslims do. Muslims nowadays do oppress women. But Islam doesn't. Islam if when it is revealed it was centuries and centuries ago and you cannot compare that society to current society things that were normal in that society of course will not be normal in this society so quran was revealed as guidance for that society during those times so sometimes it does seem very backward and it does seem that women don't have rights but it is when women had absolutely no rights at all. Hey ChatGBT, I have a question. Does the Quran promote violence? Please answer me in 20 seconds. The Quran does not promote violence. It emphasizes peace, justice, and compassion. Islam, meaning peace, really? means verses about self-defense, but these are context-specific and not a general call for violence. The overarching message of the Quran is one of peace. And that's how most Muslims understand and practice it. Wow, my mind is blown. What do you guys think? <laughs> I really like this. And this is the truth. A, a good, true Muslim will always promote peace. And that's how I got messages from Allah to come back to Islam when I was in a 10-day silent meditation retreat and I came back to Islam and I'm with a very different mindset. This time I, I have a very strong belief um, in God and Allah and I do understand that religion is corrupt. Most of the Abrahamic religions have been corrupted by people in power, especially by men in power to control others. But um, I do believe that all Abrahamic religions point to one God and a lot of their teachings are similar but they are differences too but uh, at this day and age instead of fighting over our differences we should embrace it try to understand each other's point of view and accept each other differences to promote peace and harmony we all are going back to the same God there should be healthy respectful discussions and people should discuss uh, these topics with open mind however religious beliefs are our core beliefs and they are deeply rooted and it's not easy they are not easily changed in one debate or two debates so a person 
as long as you are giving others food for thought they can think it over don't just try to always convert the other person into your belief thank you all i'll see you next time